Hey, Jess Bricks here with another Pablo video. Um, it's not going to be a super long one. It is going to be longer than the shorts that I've been doing. But um, I'm going to get started here with this head in drawer 434. It's right up here, 434. Right there. I believe this, yeah, this is from a um, first order trooper. Little dots tray here. I was gonna film this on the GoPro, but my battery is dead still. It hasn't been charged since we got back from the hospital after my daughter was born. Um, let's see, it should be this bin here. The green shoe boxes are still a little wonky. Um, I know I didn't put everything in these bins. I didn't label all the bins properly, and so some of them are out of order. Got that horse. Yeah, I am home for the next uh, week, just about. Um, I got one job I have to do this coming week. My boss called me today. This is Sunday. He called me to see if um, I could do one job for him on Wednesday and so I told him I could but we forgot a little bit of time to try and get things figured out as far as our daughter and taking my wife to a bunch of doctor's appointments with pediatricians and all that it's a lot of work and with a nearly 10 pound baby She's not feeling like driving just yet. Yeah, um, we're really looking forward to this first year having a daughter, having a kid. Um, it's definitely changing our lives. <laughs> we're really excited to see uh, how things go this summer um, we're gonna try and get out of the house a little bit I know we need to see her parents um, my wife's dad is not doing well he was supposed to have cancer surgery the other day and they said that they couldn't do the surgery due to it spreading and so they um, they've told him he doesn't have too terribly much time so definitely need to get down there and see her parents soon. Um, but yeah, we've got quite a few things we'd like to get done this summer. And I mean, I'm an amusement park nut. And our local amusement park actually opens for the season earliest they've ever done. I think that's the right one right there. Looks like the right head. Double check. Yep, that's gotta be it. OJ 16, but yeah. Um, opens for the their longest season yet on the 6th this coming Saturday and my wife told me that as long as she has somebody uh, to help her out at home I'm going to be able to go to that and I'm really looking forward to that there you go so this is the order this is their second order in my store in the month of February, there's a hair in there. So we got those two new heads, a horse, and a bunch of minifigure parts and accessories there. And this is for, uh, oh, what's his name? Let's see if I can get his name. Antonio. And Antonio, um, thank you for your order. Thank you for coming back to, to Just Bricks. Um, 
think that's going to wrap up this video. So, uh, actually, before I go, I'll show a quick update on my Lego color chart. Uh, I re reworked it, so I've got all the transparent colors at the top. And then we go down. I've got a couple of the glitter transparent colors, or translucents. So, I've got spaces for the ones I'm missing. Um, this here... These four or eight pieces here were supposed to be trans neon yellow, and the seller sent the wrong color. They don't have the right ones. So I'm just gonna, I guess, throw those in my collection and try and get the right ones. I did just get these guys the other day. I think that's a trans light green, which really cool color. I really do like that. Very few pieces came in that color. Um, I'm not including Clickets colors on my color chart just because there's not really a good reason to do that. Uh, we've got a speckle silver and black. I think there's going to be a speckle gold and black there. We've got spe speckle um, copper and black. We've got chrome gold, chrome silver, chrome antique brass, um, chrome black. That's going to be, I believe, chrome blue, chrome green, chrome pink. And it's a little dirty there, but... Uh, I don't know what these colors are going to be called technically since Lego doesn't actually have account those colors as existing since they were from the keychains. I think this one's going to be like chrome rose gold and I don't know, maybe a chrome or pearlescent medium blue. And then I've got my marble brick here, which very cool non-production brick there. We've got black, We've got space for the very light gray and very light bluish gray. Got all those standard colors. Just got added those on rust, the rust gears there. Um, got space for a couple colors. I can't remember which ones go there. Um, I know that I've placed an order from Germany for some parts that will fill in some of the spaces. Like, I think there's very light orange. There's only one piece in very light orange. Um, I did just get light green. Got a couple of these medium lime pieces there. Um, yeah, and then the metallic and pearl colors down at the bottom. And that's my updated color chart. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I might have to add on to it. I know there are quite a few colors that I don't have yet. And we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section. And I'll do my best to answer those. And until next time, y'all have a good one.